Why does this tartar build up on your teeth? What is it? And why does it cause so many problems? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're talking about tartar. And before we get started, a quick shout out to the Teeth Talk Patreon and the YouTube members who support this channel. I love that you are part of my mission on spreading evidence based dental health information. So let's jump in. It's important to know that plaque and tartar are not the same thing. Plaque is a colorless, sticky film of bacteria. It is constantly forming on your teeth and around your gum line. Sometimes you can see it if it's stained, like if you're a big coffee or tea drinker, but oftentimes it's colorless. You can remove plaque yourself at home with proper brushing and proper flossing. Plaque that is not removed, so if you skip a day of brushing and flossing, it can start to turn into tartar. Tartar, AKA calculus, the scientific fancy word for tartar is calculus, not at all related to the math subject. Tartar, or calculus, is mineralized hardened plaque. If plaque sits on your teeth for too long, it hardens and calcifies into tartar. Plaque starts hardening into tartar within only 24 to 48 hours, meaning if you skip just one night of brushing or flossing, tartar can start forming on your teeth. Tartar provides an even more serious irritant for the gums because it is hardened, rock-like plaque. So plaque, by itself, can cause inflammation and irritation to the gums around your teeth, leading to gingivitis, red, swollen, bleeding gums. But when gingivitis is not treated, AKA if you're not properly removing this plaque from your teeth daily with proper brushing and flossing, it can progress into tartar and into periodontitis and possibly tooth loss. Removal of tartar needs to be done by a dentist or a dental hygienist. You can brush and brush and brush until you're blue in the face and tartar will not come off properly at home. You need to go to the dentist for a professional cleaning with professional tartar removing instruments. Now, why do does tartar cause so many problems? Unlike plaque, tartar is a mineral buildup that's fairly easy to see if above the gum line. The most common sign of tartar is a yellow or brown deposit between the lower front teeth or at the gum lines. But if your tartar is below the gum line, it actually starts to eat away at the tissue and the bone that holds your teeth in place. The tartar bacteria multiplies and surrounds all of your teeth, tearing down the foundation. So the teeth will have nothing to hold them in place anymore. They will start to get wiggly, loose. Over time, if you have this tartar below your gums and you never go to the dentist or you wait many, 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 many years before you go to the dentist, you can literally lose your teeth. It's sad. It's unfortunate. I've seen it happen. So this is your sign. If you haven't been to the dentist in a while, schedule a cleaning appointment to make sure there is no tartar stuck below your gums. If there is tartar under your gums, you may need something called a deep cleaning or an SRP, scaling and root planing, to properly remove the tartar from under the gums. Here's visible tartar on a checkup x-ray. You can actually see it on an x-ray. So I will link my deep cleaning versus regular cleaning video in the description box if you want to learn more about the different types of cleanings. But for the purpose of this video, just know that tartar is no good. And not only can tartar damage your gums, tissue, and the entire foundation holding in your teeth, the bacteria found in tartar associated with gum disease can actually increase your risk of systemic conditions such as heart disease, kidney disease, Alzheimer's, diabetes, and a bunch of other conditions. So if brushing and flossing and getting routine teeth cleanings at your dental office can prevent all of that, wouldn't you consider prioritizing your dental health because it can help improve your overall health? Even if you don't care about losing your teeth, I would assume most people would care about preventing heart disease, Alzheimer's, all those serious health conditions, right? I will link studies below showing the association between gum disease and tartar bacteria and a bunch of those systemic conditions if you wanna learn more. And I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. Thank you again to the YouTube members here and the Patreon members supporting this channel and supporting dental health awareness. If you wanna join the fight and making sure evidence-based dental health information is being shared online, become part of our Teeth Talk community. The links to join are in the description box below. And until then, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.